Hey everybody, it's Nolan with VCAN Coins. I'm here with Vaughn today to do a penny hunt. We have not searched pennies in a long time due to the coin circulation problem. But we're here, we're gonna, we got 50 rolls. We're gonna look through them. Kyle couldn't make it today, unfortunately, but we'll get a video with him soon. So we already looked at the one side. There are no enders as of right now, but we are going to open up the box. We're gonna split up the rolls and we'll get back to it when we find anything. All right, guys into the second roll now. Vaughn's looked through two rolls as well. I spotted a wheat scent right here at the bottom of the screen. It is from 1957. So first wheat penny found in a long time. 1957 Denver. Common date, but we will take it and bring you back in if we find anything else. All right, guys, got a couple more finds. Went through this roll. I think this was my sixth, this was my sixth roll. We got a 1958 Denver wheat penny right there. It's the second wheat penny of the box. Vaughn has, I'll show what Vaughn has over here. He has a Canadian scent right here from 1975. He has a really slicked out, I think it's a copper scent. Really slicked out copper scent, which is kind of interesting. And he's got this other penny that looks like it may have been glued or put with another coin. We will look through the rest of the rolls. We have a lot left, as you can see. So we will look through the rest of them and get back to you when we find anything else. All right, bringing you guys in again, just opened up the roll and dumped it out and I spotted this coin in the back. It is a 1939 wheat cent. So one of the older ones that I've found in pretty nice shape. I'll just go through the rest of the roll here live so you guys can see. Also looking for varieties, which I will look for later, but we'll just go through and see if we spot any more wheats and then I'll look for varieties afterward. Found a couple nice copper scents already and also found a Bermudan coin in Vaughn's uh, Canadian. Doesn't look like there's anything else in this roll, so we will look through it a little bit more for any varieties, and then we will get back to you with any other finds. All right, guys, went through this roll. Just pulled out a 1944 wheat scent. I'm on my 13th roll, so is Vaughn. He's only found this Canadian so far, so I guess I've just been getting lucky with the rolls I've been picking out of the box. We've just been randomly picking them out, so 1944. We'll go through the rest of the roll here. Still looking for varieties. We're also pulling out some nicer coppers, so we'll just go through the rest of the roll here and take a look. I'll look for varieties after we go through the rest of the roll. All right, nothing else left. Got a couple of coppers with some estimate marks as well, but we will get back to you with any other finds. All right, guys, I uh, finally found something, and I think it was worth the wait. Uh, I found a 1934 Philadelphia. Um, I think I'm on my 13th, 14th, or 15th roll. I've just been waiting forever at this point, and I'm very happy that I finally was able to get something. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, I can find something else like this, maybe maybe even earlier than this date. Uh, otherwise, I will call you guys back in once I find something else. All right, guys, I found another find. It's another decent year. We got a 1939 Philadelphia. Thankfully, my hopes and dreams paid off. Oh, nice I just roll. Got, I just got a weed scent too. Nice, no one. Hand that over to you right next. Anyways, hopefully I got one last roll. Roll 25. Um, hopefully I can maybe get, I don't care what year I get. I just hope to get one more. But I know for a fact that no one is going to beat me this round. Anyways, if we find something else, we will bring you back in. But I'm going to hand this over to no one. Alright guys. You just saw Vaughn's 1939 Philadelphia in pretty nice shape. While he was opening that roll, I decided to open up the third to last roll that I have. I have two left right here. 
and I pulled out a 1944 Denver. Nice shape. I'm not sure if I have a 44 Denver in my book. Some really nice detail on the wheat ears. So nice find, and we will get back to you if we find anything else in the last couple rolls, and then we will give you a wrap up. All right, guys, I'm on my last roll. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through it here live for you guys. Already cracked a little bit of it open. Vaughn went through his last roll and did not pull anything out. So you can see the edges. Looks like we got a couple coppers, so we will go through the last roll of the box. Take a look and see if we got any wheat pennies. No varieties have been found today, but looks like we got a couple more coins to go through. We will see what we pull out. Decent amount of copper in this box as well. Um, not a ton, but definitely not a crazy low amount. I'm quite certain there are no wheat pennies in this last roll. Nope, oldest one was a 64 Denver. Yep. Yep, oldest one was a 64 Denver. So with that, we will bring you back in in one second for the wrap up of what we found today. Alrighty guys, we're gonna go through the finds for the box, 50 rolls. Um, of pennies from a $25 box of pennies found I think it was a total of seven wheat cents so not that many uh, I usually average between eight and ten to twelve um, and if you're Kyle I guess you get 40 a box um, so we'll go through my finds first got a 1957 Denver 1958 Denver a 1944 a 1944 Denver and a 1939 was my oldest wheat cent I found got Three are two nice memorial cents, a 1971S and a 1965, and also had a Bermudan coin from 1998. Three more. I pulled out a 70S, a 71S, and a 73S. I was not sure whether or not I had those in my coin book, but after further um, inspection, I found that I did. So those won't be updating. However, the 1965 and the 1971S will both be upgrading in my book. We'll go over to Vaughn's finds now. Vaughn found a 1934 as his oldest wheat cent. Both of his finds were from the 30s, so he did not find much, but they were both old. So 34 and a 39. He found a Canadian cent from, I believe, 1975, a weird looking 1985, and a slightly off-center 1971 copper cent. He also found a very slicked out, I believe, a copper cent um, and a very nice 1968. So that was all of the finds that we got in today's box. I'd like to thank you guys again for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you'd like to, leave a like on this. Uh, comment in the comment section below whether or not you like the video, anything we can change or anything you'd like. Turn on post notifications, subscribe, and make sure you follow VKN coins on Instagram. If you have an Instagram account, that's all lowercase VKN underscore coins. I'll put uh, it up on the screen so you guys can see. And anyway, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more future videos.